It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. All right, guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, today's video is, uh, let's put it this way. You got time to breathe, you got time for music. Um, today, here's proof that uh, Mayberry picked the finest musicians to perform as the Darlings. And they did. They look. Call it Mayberry Jail Cell Blues, but the first time Andy Griffith has joined the Darlings is in a performance of the Andy Griffith Show and is in his own jail in the episode The Darlings Are Coming. It all comes together when the family band is kicked out of Mayberry Hotel for having too many folks occupying a single room. Andy pities them, invites them to pass the, the night in jail, also secretly itching to play along after hearing their fine tunes through the door uh, to their former hotel room. In the cell, you see the band packed in, and Andy squats in the door with his guitar and the frenzy of strumming starts, and that marks the soothing nature of bluegrass music. Um... On the Andy Griffith Show, most fans know that the core members of the Darling Band, Doug, once du uh, dubbed as Jevin, Rodney, Mitch, and Dean, were actually highly revered bluegrass musicians, the Dillards, Doug Dillard, Rodney Dillard, Mitch Jane, and Dean Webb. While the Dillards were certainly well known to any bluegrass fan at the time, it was their appearances on the Andy Griffith Show that ultimately broadened their audience in ways few bluegrass bands achieved. That's how much Griffith's clear love for the music rubbed off on all his fans. In that way, the two influential entities and pop culture supported one another in developing successes. This collaboration perhaps culminated during the Andy Griffith Show episode, Briscoe Declares for Aunt B, where Powell's character briefly courts Andy's sweet aunt. In that episode, audiences were treated to the first widespread broadcast of the song Feud and Banjos, a.k.a. Dueling Banjos. Uh, when Andy again joins the Darlings to play it on that show. Uh, that song later went on to famously used uh, in a moral, memorable scene from the del movie Deliverance, uh, reaching number two on the Billboard Hot 100 charts in 1973. We heard it on the Andy Griffith Show an entire decade sooner, or at least intentative fans sure did. Yes, it seems the Andy Griffith Show took its music so seriously that they actually did find the finest players around to populate Mayberry's favorite country band. And as for Andy, most fans also know that he's a trained gospel singer uh, with a talent for the guitar that he often displayed on the show. But you may not know that as a boy, Andy's first instrument was the trombone. Learning from a minister who led the brass band in his North Carolina church. No offense to Briscoe, but maybe Andy should have been playing that jug. <laughs> Later, Griffith earned his bachelor's in music and became so dedicated to his studies that he was the president of the chapter of a fraternity at the University of North Carolina. That's the oldest music fraternity in the U.S. and just before Griffith launched his career as a performer. Uh, he could be found teaching music and drama at North Carolina High School. Rounding out the Darlings, of course, are Briscoe and Charlene, played so charmingly by Denver Powell and Maggie Mancuso. Uh, for his part, Powell started the show business career as a drummer and a band member, so even if he teased his jug playing earlier, it should be acknowledged that he had the chops to keep the beat. Uh, Mancuso actually got her start singing out of the back of a pickup truck. In 1959, released an album with her band called Its Most Happy Sound. Later, she joined a new band, and it was while touring with them that she was discovered by the Andy Griffith Show. At first, they thought she'd make a great Ellie. But we're glad instead she showed up as Charlene. And in the interview with Archive of American Television, Griffith confirmed she rounded out the act saying she wasn't a hillbilly, but she fit right in. It was her beautiful singing voice that did it. In truth, it was no accident that there was this high quality of music on the Andy Griffith show. Andy wanted music on his show and set it up to always be an easy thing to integrate into the scene, telling the Archive of American Television. 
I kept two guitars on the stage all the time and a five-string banjo on the stage all the time. He goes, on, he goes on to explain why that wonderful group called the Darling Family never really had many lines on the show, saying, we hired some boys who'd just come out of the Smoky Mountains called the Dillards, and the way we used them, we knew they couldn't act. There wasn't room for that many people to talk anyhow, so we had them never speak, and Denver Powell does all the talking for them. Briscoe Darling. Uh, the form reel worked because clearly Andy knew all most fans wanted to hear when the Darlings were on in a scene is they're flying I'm playing. They're flying playing. I'm having a real trouble with speaking today. My apologies. The Dillards, what a great, great band. Uh, and they, uh, they, of course, inspired a lot of music, uh, a lot of musicians, uh, including the Eagles and uh, the Birds. Um, Bob Dylan was, there was a funny story that uh, Rodney told of Bob Dylan. I kind of won't tell it because it's his story. If I find it sometime again, I'll, I'll put it up for you. Uh, but it's funny. And I mean, they were everywhere. Uh, and you just didn't get that from Bluegrass Band, not even back then. But uh, that's how great they were uh, and are. Uh, they still tour, by the way. Uh, Rodney being the only original member left. But still, I'd love to see him. Come to Kentucky, my way, okay? Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. Uh, it's on how, on an episode of Gilligan's Island, um, a song that Marianne, Ginger, and... Uh, Lovey Howe sang as the honeybees in the episode Don't Bug the Mosquitoes, uh, how that's connected. Now, Mary Ann's uh, solo part in that is connected to Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Go over and watch it, check it out, and please subscribe. If you have not yet, please subscribe here. Classic rock and country music facts and trivia be off for the weekend, as will Beverly Hillbillies, back on Monday. Um, Today's video at Faith and Entertainment is on the movie The Encounter. Really, really good movie. Uh, and it's got the trailer over there as well. So go there and check it out. If you don't mind, if you need uh, help finding it, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to just type in Faith and Entertainment uh, in the search bar, it should take you right to it. You guys have a great day. God bless you. Praying for you.